Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to be trying uh, two of these Hillshire uh, snack, they're called small plates. One is the Italian dry salami with natural Gouda cheese and, and uh, toasted rams. And the other one is Genoa salami with natural white cheddar cheese and toasted rounds. So these are, they're like little, they look like um, Melba toast is what they look like. So, uh, so anyway, this one's the dry salami. This was the Genoa salami. I'm, it doesn't matter which one I try first, but these were at Walmart. They were $2.78 a piece. And this one is 300 calories. That one's the Italian dry. And the other one is 310 calories. So probably not something you'd want to eat I don't know. I guess you could eat this, um, but I mean, I guess you could eat. I'm gonna go and try two because they're they're related to each other, and I didn't want to sit there and eat just one and then do another one another day. I want to try them both just to let you know what they what they taste like. Um, and 278, that's a little expensive for what you get, but um, but hopefully it's good quality. So we'll, we'll see. So anyway, I'm gonna get these open and put my camera in the tripod, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna try the Genoa salami first. That one, that one comes with a natural white cheddar and toasted rounds and you just grab it before it looks like you get one two three four five six pieces of salami six pieces of cheese and six rounds there's a salami it smells really good so there's your sausage there's your cheese it's about thick it is and then your little rounds are very crispy they, like I said, they look like Melba toast or a really toasted bread. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go for it. It's gonna be really crunchy. So mm. I like the flavor of that. I would probably do something weird and eat it upside down with a with a toast on top. That way the little pieces kind of all stay on top. I like the flavor of the salami. I like the flavor of the toast. And I like the flavor of the cheese. Mm, it's good. Is it worth 278 or two yeah, 278? I don't know. It's definitely a higher quality than like a lunchable is, where where it has like um you know, ham or turkey or bologna or whatever. Um, the sausage is, is much better quality than that. Um, it's a good it's a good quality sausage. It's got a little bit of spice to it. It's got those little black seeds. I don't know if you can see them, but right there you can see the little black seeds in it, like salami. Um, that's good. I like that. So the general salami, I would give I would give a four. Um, the price kind of is debatable, but but I would definitely flavor wise and quality wise, I would give it a four. Wish you got a little bit more food for that much money um, and for that um, amount of calories, but it is what it is. All right, so this one is the Italian dry salami with Gouda cheese and toasted rounds. So this salami looks just like the other salami. It has a little seed, uh, the little peppercorns kind of like in them. You can really see them right here. That's how thick it is. And then let me get a piece of cheese. There's your cheese. Kind of a yellowish cheese and one of the toasted rounds like i said i'm gonna put it on the top of it so when you bite it and it breaks it won't fall all over the place it has a different spice to the to the salami and that cheese tastes a little different too um i like that it um the cheese is definitely different though. So if you don't like Gouda cheese, um, it's it's going to be different than a, a cheddar or something like that. <coughs> That's really good. <coughs> Sorry, a piece of that toast went down the wrong way. <coughs> I like that one. I like the... Um, I think I like the, the other one better, the Genoa salami better than the Italian dry salami. And I think it has to do with the cheese. I don't mind this cheese, but it is a stronger cheese flavor. No? Hold on.
It's actually the salami. I thought it was the cheese. It's actually the salami itself. Um, I think I like the other salami better than this. The cheese is actually not bad. It's not as strong as I thought. But the salami has a different spice to it. It's still really good. But um, it's not something I would necessarily buy again. The other one I would. That being said, I would still give this Italian one a four as well. The flavors are really good, really strong, um, good quality of, of meats. Like I said, you could definitely save money. Or like I said, the price is a little high for what you get. You could probably buy some of this on your own and, um, and make it yourself. Because you can buy a good hard salami. You know, they're probably that long and slice it up. The cheese, they're they're... They're small slices of cheese, so you could get that fairly inexpensive. And these, like a little Melba toast, you could literally buy Melba toast and have the same thing. So, um, while I think they're good, I do think they're a little overpriced, but the quality is good. So, four for both of them. If you want to try them out, definitely they're worth trying out if you like a little snackable kind of like thing. Um, again, at Walmart in the refrigerated section where their uh, lunch meats and stuff like that were, and the Lunchables and that kind of thing. So, I hope you enjoy this video, and thanks for watching.